Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Dark Side Detective Season 2. Let's get into case number 5, Royal Fumble. Case summary. Dooley wanted me to meet him at the wrestling event in town. The EU. Or the EWWW. Probably the EU. Let's start the investigation. I'm sure everything will be fine, right? Twin Lakes Stadium. Ew. Well, this is where Dooley told me to meet him. I wonder what he wants to show me. I better go look for him. Well, but first, we can look around. Ew, the entertaining world of wonderful wrestling. Upcoming events. Ew presents a mage in a cage. I, I kind of want to see that, actually. I'm not even a fan of wrestling. There's everything here, from t-shirts to other t-shirts. <gasps> hey, give me, a, give me a break. Diversifying merch is tough. A lot of places have minimum orders, and I don't want to be left with a bedroom full of 500 neoprene beer holders with EU printed on them. EU isn't exactly the most appealing thing to have on the side of your drink, you know? Yeah, but I feel like you could play that up. 3D glasses. Want some 3D glasses? It makes you feel like the fight is happening right before your eyes. But the fight happens here. Dude, they're free. Do you want them or not? I guess so. Seems gimmicky to me. What does the third D even stand for? Uh. Huh. I guess I would be Dark Side Detective. Towels. Want to use towel? It's got 100% legitimate wrestler sweat on it. Ugh, no. Who'd want that? Hey, that's my biggest earner. Ew. All right, well, let's uh, talk to the merch merchant. Want to buy some merchandise, eh? eh? Uh, no thanks. I spent my last bit of cash getting in here. Oh, you're going to regret that in three to five puzzles. Hmm. Do you know something I don't, lady? Anything else that we can look at before we talk to the, uh... Ticket seller? Nope. You have your ticket? What more do you want from me? I was just going to ask if you saw my friend. He's usually dressed like a cop. I ain't seen nobody dressed like a cop. Did you see somebody who was a cop then? No. Why did you say like and then not just like? Like or just like? This has become a confusing and weirdly labored moment. Yeah, I'm just going to go find my friend. All right, let's go towards the ring. Can't look at those things. Fan waving sign. Sally. Excited fan. Neon sign. Lounge. Two tickets and merch. Lounge plaque. The bar brawl. No brawling, please. Oh. They make cocktails here? Those liars lure you in with that. Then they try to sell you merch for the questionably drunk and sexist wrestler Manhattan. Oh. Also, hi, Sally. Detective, I'm surprised to see you here. I'm surprised you're here, too. Oh, I never miss a chance to watch oiled-up men fight in their pants. That explains some of the stuff I hear about the parties you throw. Parties you throw and don't invite me to. Sorry, Detective. They're for select friends. You're right, though. I should throw some something vanilla and bring you along. Vani- Oh, the next match is starting. Kill him! Peel his face off! His entire actual face! You know, McQueen, I'm not sure that you want to go to one of her parties. Anything else that I can look at? There's a ring over that way. Fan-waving sign. 
Make love, not war. I misunderstood the nature of this gathering when I was making my sign. Uh-huh. I'm here to support my favorite wrestler, Ricky Redhand. He slapped so many people that his hand swelled up and went all red. Horrible infection. Had to have it removed. My absolute hero. It's kind of creepy, actually. Wait a second. Um... Are you thinking what I'm thinking with these, uh, these posters in the back? Oh my! Dancing Man! Photos of the wrestlers here. One of them is a bit loose. You received item of photograph. Oh, hello. A picture of a Jippin stolen from a wall. Jippin? I'm not sure how that's supposed to be pronounced. Jaipine? I'm afraid to look too closely at the rest of them in case they fall off the wall too. Oh, but you could get more pictures. There's a payphone. Doesn't work. It's just for when fights spill out into the lounge and the wrestlers need something to brain one another off. Oh, that's fair. There's a TV screen. It seems to be showing an even lower resolution version of the ring. Frightening. Drink shelf. What top shelf stuff have you got? We'll call them top rope, not top shelf. It's thematic. I see. Very good. Well, what top sh uh, top rope stuff do you have? No idea. Neck muscles too thick. Can't turn my head to look. But you could turn your whole body around. We have protein shakes on tap. Red flavor, blue flavor, and purple over there. What are the actual flavors? Strawberry, blueberry, and grape? Red, blue, and purple, like I said. Frightening. Also, why is there nothing... Oh, right, yeah. What about the jukebox? Smooth. Lounging Lou. Thanks, I want my moves to be as velvety as... Well, velvet, I guess. <laughs> nice and easy to jam in along to. You are too beautiful, girl I saw alone at the bar. Alone at the bar on purpose. You are too beautiful, girl I saw alone at the bar on purpose waiting for a man like me to come along. No, that's not... Shh, baby girl, Ralphie's singing you a song. Creepy. Alright, dancing man. Well, now I feel underdressed. <laughs> I'm overdressed, I admit it. But hey, I want to make an impression on my all-time fave wrestler. See, I want an autograph from Jaipin. She's astounding, but I'm not the kind of guy to beg. That's got to be a pun there that I'm missing. My plan, when she sees my razzmatazz and swagger, she'll come up to me looking for my autograph. I'll offer to swap, and hey, presto, I've got it. That's certainly a plan. Thanks. Now, if you'll excuse me, i got to get back to practicing. Yeah. You wouldn't happen to be uh, taking a uh, lesson from my Spelljammer players, are you? Oh, oh. Uh, a couple. Look, I didn't pay for lounge access to listen to you sing. I just want to watch the match in peace. <laughs> You're so funny. Hey, let me play you a song about how funny, good-looking, and over all great you are. <sighs> Yo there, barkeep. There's a sports bar, not a rent fair. Sorry, I don't know what happened there. I got carried away. That's because you were small and easy, easy to pick up. Look at me. I never get carried away. He's got a point there, McQueen. He's got a point there. All right, let's go to the ring. Is that... Is that Dooley in the ring? Yeah, I was afraid of that. Gloop! Mmm, I'd like a tall, frosty glass of goo gloop. That's one hell of a Jumbotron. Is there such a thing as a non-Jumbo Jumbotron? Just a regular old Tron? Gloop! 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 They seem to be screaming along the text on the screen. Or maybe it should have been Gloop TM! Gloop TM! Gloop TM! Towards backstage, manager. Ew. Color commentator, main commentator, officer Dooley, referee, 
and the Overgiver. Um, hi. Jimmy the Crotch, huh? Get out of the way, you jabroni. I can't see through you. What's this jabroni's deal? Walking around the place thinking he's made of glass. And the color commentator? The $902 man. Look at these guys railing on each other. I'd buy that for a dollar. Jeez, it all comes down to cash with you in the end, doesn't it? It comes down to cash with everyone in the end. Everyone's got a price. Uh, manager? Are you his manager? Connor the Cranium Higgins. Ooh, El Dulio? El Dulio doesn't have a manager. Says he's a free bird. Or, at the very least, a reasonably priced dragon. Well, Dooley, uh, I mean, uh, I'm sorry, El Dulio, uh, welcome to the Dragon Club. I did, had no idea. So you manage the other guy? Nah. So who do you manage? Why are you here? I just like giving people pep... I just like giving pep talks to whoever needs them. For example, you got this, detective. I believe in you. Oh, thanks. I do feel more ready to take on the world. Uh, sorry, I don't feel pumped. No, no, I do feel more ready to take on the world. You're welcome. Now go get him, Tiger! Right, I, I forgot how I'm supposed to go get him, though. Let's see what the other option is. Eh, sorry, I don't feel pumped. Oh, sorry. That usually helps. Uh, I must be losing my edge. Alright, referee. Ref Renal. Tap out if you want to call it, kid. Yeah, I'm not a kid. I'm the Overgiver, and I'm not done for yet. Alright, Overgiver. Yeah, not again. I can't. I won't keep on losing. And Officer Dooley. Dooley, is that you? It looks like El Dulio has his foe on the ropes. El Dulio? Surrender now, mi amigo, and El Dulio shall show you leniency. No, I won't be defeated. Not again. Not today. Today is my day to shine. Whammo, blammo. Thank you, mammo. Uh-oh. What? What's going on? A wild sidekick has appeared. Looks like the ref is getting involved. Two on one, no fair. Match postponed until El Dulio has a partner. Oh, God. <laughs> Get whoever you like, El Dulio. You can't defeat my partner straight from the ninth square circle of hell. Or heal. <laughs> <laughs> See you for the match later, El Luzio. Oh, poop. Dooley, what mess have you gotten into this time? Uh, do I know you, senor? Now is not the time for this. That guy clearly summoned a demon. And we are in the business of defeating demons. Um, yes, uh, El Dulio has is also in the business of defeating this demon. Perhaps we should team up to rid the ring of this reviled rival. <sighs> Fine, stay in character. We might be able to find some more info on the summoner if we go backstage. Come on. Yes, backstage. Come on. No, you come on. Come with me. I insist. Look, I'm in charge here. You're coming with me. Let's go. Yes, let's go. With me going first and you going second. Coming with me, you, if you will. Look, we don't have time for this. Let's just go at the same time. Three, two, one. Towards backstage. Topless fan, young fan, a screaming fan, uh, towards backstage. All right, I need to get more information out of this, about this uh, <clears throat> El Dulio. It is good to be down here, rubbing shoulders of the common people. Uh-huh. Stolen pictures are the best. You know they are good because somebody else already wanted to show it off. Seems gimmicky to me. What does the third D even stand for? Aw, oh, I didn't have anything to say about that. That is impressive hair. Ah, hmm? uh, sadly it's a wig. You see the hair on some of these wrestlers? Now that's impressive. I bet they have teams of hairdressers backstage to get them looking right. And a young fan? What's that you're drinking? Gloop, TM. It's made from 132% sugar. Huh. Ah! 
wrestlers! Ah, oh, my ears! <laughs> Sorry, I, I just get a bit carried away. When I grow up, I want to be just like these people. When you grow up, eh? Well, you're never too old to have dreams and goals. Good luck with it. Thanks! Oops, I, I mean thanks. All right, let's go towards backstage. Oh! Hi. <gasps> a bin! This bin is filled with incredibly lifelike drawings of wrestlers here. I went to art college, you know. One of the finest in my class. Did galleries and everything. But there's no money in the arts. Can't even get a mortgage. Never mind pay one. So I body slam and body slam and clothesline to support my real love, culture. There's a bathroom, there's backstage. Uh that's yeah, hold off. Uh, so, El Dulio, anything you have to say here? El Dulio knows you, madame. You are the ninth wonder of the digital world, yes? Yep, just gotta kill off the L-shaped Tetris blocks to jump up to 8th place. Which one, Orange Ricky or Blue Ricky? Because El Dulio has a beef with Orange and will happily provide you with the alibi. Dooley? What, he ruined my friend's good time. That is an un- that is the unforgivable act. He's probably doing a fake accent, but I'm not gonna try that. Hi there, everything okay? You look a bit glum. Of course I am glum. They have me on door duty. I didn't come here to bounce, I came to wrestle. But they're all scared of me. How am I meant to get any fans if I don't get to wrestle? That's fair. Alright, I did talk to you. Uh, let's head into the bathroom. Why has El Dulio followed you into this bathroom? It seems invasive and rude. That's what I keep telling you. Though, to be honest, after the tentacle toilet incident, I'm slightly scared of going in to lose Solo. A grubby but functional mirror. Occupied! Occupied! Oh. Nothing we can do. There's a vent and everything, and I can't climb into it. Alright, let's go backstage. Backstage is for the entertainment only. Bog off, Johnny Longcoat. I think I'm going to need a disguise if I want to go in there. The three-dimensional man isn't a catchy character name. Alright, can I get a... Uh, can I get an autograph? You know what might turn uh, that frown upside down? Giving me an autograph! I would like that, yes. Do you have a pen I could borrow? I do not. Well, I'm game to sign your picture, but I'll, I'll need a pen. Alrighty. Oh my. Sports shorts, sports shorts, sports shorts. They seem to be screaming along, the text, along to the text on the screen. Dick Brickman, sports shorts. So, who are you? I, I'm not playing this game. We shall see. Hailing from Green Bay, the toilet paper capital of the world, Rowdy Roddy Paper. And his opponent with a line weight of 0 0.7, the penultimate warrior. The penultimate warrior, huh? Okay, don't have anything else to say. Look, Jimmy, a cop. Not this again. Dance for me, boy. A uh, dollar is a lot of cash. No way, cops can't be bought. We'll see, copper. Everyone has a price. All right, let's uh, try that again. A uh, dollar is a lot of cash. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> that's it, boy. Dance for me. I feel so dirty. Well, I am a man of my word, so here you go. You received item of one dollar. You can, uh, you can stop now. Oh, yeah, right. <clears throat> I feel so dirty. But I have a dollar!
Okay, you don't have anything to say. Do you have a... Nope, you don't have, like, a pen for that. Okay. Does your friend there have a ticket? El Dulio does not need a ticket. El Dulio is a ticket. He is a main event. Ticket for one, please. El Dulio does not care for tickets. He is either a guest of honor or he does not go. Three to five puzzles, huh? Oh, I have a dollar. Do you have a pen? One t-shirt, please. Sure thing. Here you go. Here's your change, too. You received item shirt. You received item change. It's one cent. How does a lone coin count as loose? A shirt with some wrestler I don't recognize on it. I say that as if there are some wrestlers that I would recognize, but there are not. Alright, that doesn't help me get a pen. I don't need change. My life is perfect as it is. That's an illegal move. Trying that would be a low blow. No thanks, I just gave that to you because I don't think... Because I don't like coins. You know people store those in their children's mouths? Gross. They don't do that. Alright, well... We still need to get a pen. Uh... I don't know where I get one right now, but we will certainly keep looking around. But that will have to be next time. See you then, everyone.